Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I post every day, bringing you the latest updated tarot reading. In this reading, we're gonna get you some important messages that you need to hear right now. Today is the twenty-first uh, of April, twenty twenty-four. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is. 3 uh, three ten p.m. Let's get your reading started. Virgo, spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo. Important messages that Virgos need to hear right now. Virgo, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and whoever could be in your energy field right now. This reading could resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future. Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Virgo, you've got the Two of Wands as the first card. That means some of you could be standing at a, car, a crossroad trying to make a decision. Three of Pentacles, whether to continue working on something or not. Because Six of Wands here is in one verse. Perhaps you're unsure whether continuously working on whatever this could be okay um could be a love connection or a business or your career you're unsure whether you know it would be successful six of ones in reverse and then the sun in reverse because you feel kind of like pessimistic about it you're not sure if it's the right thing to do um to continue uh, because you know again three of pentacles like working towards something but it's not finished yet and then we've got the five of pentacles in our first hmm. perhaps also indecisive whether you know because the five of pentacles is a very challenging energy perhaps this route this path so far has been very challenging so you could be thinking about whether you should just stop dealing with it or stop working on it and the high priestess is right here, which is a major arcana. It's basically encouraging you to use your intuition. Your intuition could be heightened. A lot of Virgos are actually very intuitive. Okay, so um, make sure you tap onto your intuition. We've got the Six of Swords here in our verse. It's a stuck energy. And also we've got the Page of Swords Perhaps you need more information, so it's basically encouraging you to also gain as much information as you can before you decide whether you want to continue with this or not, okay? Again, Virgo, for some of you, it's whether to continue being in a relationship or continue being in a marriage or to continue studying something that perhaps you're kind of like not sure anymore if you want to continue pursuing that, you know, that course, for example or to leave a job or to stay or to start a business or not or to move completely move to a different place country town so it's a you know it's it's a life decision to once again that you could be unsure what you should do right now okay you don't really have that clarity with the sun in my first and six of pen uh, sorry the judgment in my first now, the high priestess carries a lot of information. Perhaps, again, Virgo, if some of you just stick around and just try to, you know, gain as much information as you can first before you decide, okay? It's like some sort of confirmation. It will help you decide the two of wands. Let's see more. Virgo, you've got the Ace of Cups, a new beginning. You could be hoping that, um, you know, Nine of Cups uh, is a wish fulfillment card. You could be wishing for a new beginning. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. See that feeling of like, you know, I've I've done a lot. Maybe it has come to a point where you just don't want to continue working on whatever you could be working on now. You could be again wishing for this new beginning. It could be Ace of Cups. I do read it as you know, uh, self-love and self-care. And for some of you, it's a decision whether to be single or to be in a relationship, you know, um, or to start a new relationship. Yeah, new, new, old, single, or 
<laughs> you know, Ace of Cups. Just to me, you know, Ace is a new beginning, of course. The Cups, it's full, as you can see. You know, it's not just full, it's more than full. So perhaps some of you, Virgo, it could be your wish coming true as well. A uh, newfound love. It could be, again, self-love or starting a new relationship, meeting someone new. Let's see a bit more, Virgo. Queen of Pentacles in one verse, Queen of Cups. It's that feeling also, look at the, these pentacles here. For some of you, Virgo, if you've been a workaholic, you know, you spend too much time working or you felt like you had to work for whatever reason, okay? It could be because you need to pay, pay for the bills or take care of your family or take care of your children, whatever it could be, um, or just simply, you know, wanting to achieve um, like a certain dream that you may have, certain achievement, whatever the case is, uh, Virgo, these two cards makes me feel like some of you are ready, okay, ready to love again, Queen of Cups, or ready to love, ready to do something that you love, okay, no longer just working for the money, no longer just uh, working, you know, because you have to, okay, so the world here is in one verse, a stuck energy, five of swords in one verse, yeah, I feel like Virgo, some of you have been working so much, doing maybe the same thing over and over again you may feel kind of like stuck and hoping maybe you know you could start something new where you're gonna feel excited again through a pentacles starting like a new project or whatever it could be all right virgo and the queen of cups is also highly intuitive so again it's basically saying using your intuition in combination with you know, getting as much information as you can and then go from there, okay? Eight of Wands, Movement, Two of Swords, Queen of Wands. I feel like, Virgo, a lot of you may feel also like, I just want to be excited about my life. I just want to be uh, passionate about what I do, love what I do. Mm. I want to feel alive. It could be that too. Because this can be very monotonous, these two cards right next to each other, especially when they are in reverse. So Eight of Wands is you wanting to like sort of move forward, change, grow. But again, Two of Swords, you may not be very sure how to go about doing that or if you should choose to do that. And again, Virgo, back to this High Priestess as a major kind of that if you are unclear about where to go next, what to do next, then again, tap into your intuition and do your research with the Page of Swords before you make a decision. I want to tell you a little bit of a story. Virgo, you know there is a big moth. It's like a brown, what do you call it? There's a name for it. It's like a brown, big moth. If you guys are like following me on my Instagram, you see. It was like right in front of my doorstep when I came back um, one day, the two days ago. And then... I thought it was lost, so I picked it up, and I put it on the, you know, somewhere at the corridor, you know, there was like an open space. I thought, oh, maybe it's lost. Maybe it's trying to find its way to like fly out, fly away or something. But, and then that was two days ago, and I didn't leave my house until just now. And then the moth, I opened my door, and I saw the moth in front of my house again after I left it like a bit further down. And I was like, what? That was two, two days ago, right? Um, and then I was wondering, is it because it can't fly? And I took a good look at the wings. Finally, I saw it's, the wing was broken, like just a little bit at the corner. So I was like, oh, this could be the reason. I don't know if it's still alive, but I was thinking maybe I need to, you know, uh, feed it or something. Any suggestion, let me know in the comment box below. But they also said that, you know, moths, um, they could be someone who has passed on, who is coming to visit you. And I was like, I don't know what to do with it. I've been Googling, but mm, 
I don't know. I don't know. But let me know in the comment box below. But um, butterflies usually mean transformation that I I know for sure. Okay. But uh, Virgo, for some of you, you could be, you know, two of wands right here um, at the crossroad in between, you know, uh, could, could be transitioning into transforming your life because this is no longer you, Virgo, the queen of pentacles in one verse you may feel like this is no longer me i need to change i need to or do something that makes me feel alive makes me feel like that i love life it could mean that i'll do something that i love but eight of wands typically it's good news you may not see it yet maybe some good news coming in you know and it's pointing towards the ace of cups it could be you know, good news in regards to your romantic situation, romantic life, your love life, your work, money could mean that you may not be able to see it. But the high priestess, you know, maybe you can feel that it's coming, you know, because it's about intuition as well. And the high priestess usually, it, it also means that, you know, something is in store for you. There is this new beginning and it's coming. So you, I guess you just have to be prepared for it, okay? When it happens, it happens. When you know, you know. Take care, Virgo. This is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. If you want a personal reading that's tailor-made just for you and you alone, because this is a general reading, it may not be accurate um, or very accurate. It's more accurate to book me for a personal reading. A lot of people tell me that I'm very on point most of the time um so but anyway virgo you can book me by send me an email or by paypal all info is in the description box below i hope to see you back here again soon i post your videos every single day don't forget to hit on the bell notification button so you'll be notified every time when i post your videos take care virgo love you bye